It's the first uh, defense agreement uh, with the Gulf country that uh, Minister of Defense Gantz, Benny Gantz, has signed here. It's a broad uh, agreement on uh, defense cooperation in a wide uh, variety of, uh, of issues. And uh, we're hoping to develop that side of our relationships as well. We both, uh, both countries face uh, common threats in the region. Is it intelligence? Is it arms? Is it uh, strategic? The importance of, of the agreement is its nature. It, it deals with uh, all defense issues. And uh, the two sides will uh, continue to, uh, to talk, to, uh, to decide what exactly we want to do together. This is only the beginning. It was confirmed that uh, an Israeli Navy officer will be stationed uh, in Bahrain. That's a first in an Arab country. What's the purpose of that? That's a liaison officer to the 5th Fleet, which uh, has its uh, headquarters in absent here in uh, Manama, and the liaison officer will deal with everything that Israel has, the Israeli Navy has, with the 5th uh, Fleet Navy here in, uh, here in Manama. Uh, it's, uh, we are part of a big coalition. Um, we just had the exercises on, the, on three seas, uh, Red Sea, Indian Ocean, and the, uh, uh, the, the Gulf here. So. Uh, is not the only liaison officer, foreign liaison officer uh, stationed here in Manama. But certainly um, an important issue, an important progress. Right. As far as it is conveyed to you, how worried is Bahrain vis-a-vis uh, -vis the latest missile attacks in the region? Like everybody else in the Gulf, uh, to see the capabilities, the, the means, uh, the ability uh, to reach uh, so far, uh, of course, worries and uh, worries everybody is a concern for all uh, for all countries uh, in the region, including Israel. Uh, by the way, the Ukraine crisis. What's the perception there, especially uh, as uh, Bahrain is an oil producer? Following it, I have no other uh, anything else that I can actually uh, intelligently say about it. Um, like everybody else around the world, everybody here as well, follow the crisis, hoping that it will be resolved peacefully. Another issue, there's a, a new visa program in which Bahrain uh, offers permanent residency to foreigners. Do you foresee Israelis taking this option? I do. Uh, we hope to see uh, growing uh, business ties between Bahrain and Israel. Bahrain is uh, located uh, in the middle between East and West. Uh, historically, uh, was a gateway uh, between East and West, uh, between the Hindus and the uh, Mesopotamia and the Levant. Uh, it's a gateway to the Gulf. So um, I think we will see Israeli companies operating here. And um, we'll have to wait and see how many Israelis will arrive here. We are pretty certain from early signs that economic ties and uh, volume of trade will really grow uh, in the coming few uh, weeks, months, and certainly years. How many Israelis do visit Bahrain, and, and what, what uh, businesses drive them? Not too many Israelis so far. Uh, our skies were closed. The uh, direct flights only just started before uh, the uh, Omicron. Uh, so uh, not too many, uh, under 2,000, but we hope that uh, just uh, towards the summer uh, more Bahrainis will visit Israel, uh, more Israelis, Israelis will come here. Uh, Bahrain will be probably uh, mostly a winter uh, tourism destination for, uh, for many Israelis. Um, we have uh, quite a lot in common in terms of interests and uh, abilities to, to, uh, to cater for, for whatever is interesting for the Bahrainis to, uh, to develop, whether it's in uh, fintech, uh, cyber, uh, biomed, agriculture, water technologies, and, and really everything that the two countries uh, can offer each other in terms of uh, trade, uh, shipping, air cargo. Uh, Bahrain is a, is a transit country for, for uh, a lot of the things that we will probably import from the east or export uh, eastwards. Uh, I also understand that uh, the old Jewish cemetery in Manama is being restored now? Plans are underway to restore it uh, with the help of the uh, 
Israelis of Bahraini origin who visited here in a, in a couple uh, uh, two months. Uh, there is a small community of Israelis originally uh, came to Israel in the early uh, late 90 uh, late 40s, early 50s from Bahrain and uh, after the Six Day War. So uh, yes, and the ties uh, are very close with the local community. Uh, Jews always lived here since 1880. Uh, we're buried here. Uh, there is a synagogue here, and there is a, a small community here. So yes, a synagogue, a cemetery. Yeah. And finally, Ambassador, you have been Israel's ambassador to Turkey before. Uh, any differences you'd like to share? Do you miss Turkey? I miss Turkey's food, uh, Turkey's people, lots of friends in Turkey. But I really am uh, concentrating. It takes a lot of my time to, uh, to try and develop um, relationships, growing relationships between Israel and, uh, and Bahrain. And uh, hopefully the relationship will be as good in the future between Israel and Turkey as well. Who knows?